Hello folks, welcome. Linux Mint 22. Today I'm going to talk about STRF time elements. Those are funny words. Uh, those are those string of numbers that you see for the time and date down there. And if you look real closely, mine has the time zone on it. PDT. I can also put the year in there. And I'll show you how to customize these elements and also customize the bubble above it. That red bubble is also a custom bubble. If any of that kind of stuff interests you, then continue watching. I'm filming in 1080. Welcome, folks. All right, so a lot of people will like to see this as October 19th instead of 19th October. Well, we all are living in different countries. Linux is used around the world. Linux Mint is used around the world. This is Linux Mint 22. Now, believe it or not, the website that uh, you're going to do customization on here is a different one from Linux Mint 22 to 21.3. And I'll show you both. And you can actually use both. If I right click System Settings and click on the time and date, um, I'm going to toggle these back and forth. And you'll see absolutely no changes here. And you're probably going, how can that be? That's because these are custom. And I'll show you how to do that. They're very simple. However, this screen has also an effect on this formula. That PDT, Pacific Daylight Time, I'm in the Los Angeles Time Corridor, this area in here. That's where I live. Now, if I switch it to the United States East Coast, that becomes EDT. If I go over to uh, maybe to England, London, that's BST, to give you some examples of that time zone thing. The other thing I can affect is the beginning of this calendar. Normally, this is default. The calendar starts on a Sunday, but I can also change that to a Monday. So there's some things I can affect using this toy. This part here, though, when I do the 24 versus AM and PM, has no effect because I'm using these as custom elements. So not to get off on a tangent, but let me show you a desklet that has just a standard calendar on it. I've shown these before. If you look at the date, uh, time and date down here, uh, that says 537 PM. That says 1737. So I get a little bit best of both worlds. I can also transport these where instead of having Monday starting, I can have Sunday starting in the first column. Right click, configure. This is normally default. I'll turn off the configuration so you can see it. I can also change that to match this. Right click, configure, and use 24 o'clock, no. Now it says 538, and that says 538. I'm going to leave this alone, because this is really not about this. This is more about this. So I'm going to right-click on this and hit Configure. Now, why am I using SAT instead of Saturday, or 19th of October instead of October 19th? Well, it all depends. A lot of different countries like to see it this way. Keep in mind, Linux is used around the uh, planet Earth. So a lot of people like things differently. You can even put this uh, time date elements in any order you want. They're all done with these little funny looking symbols. Those funny looking symbols though, uh, depending on the system, now if I turn this off, this goes right back to default, which is done all through here now. Now when I click these things, these will change. So if I don't want the 1738 and I want it in uh, AM and PM, there's 539. Including seconds, well, we'll turn the seconds off. I don't see the daylight savings time. That's not something I can configure. So if I need that, I need to go to a custom setting. That's all down through here. So that's what these symbols are, and I'll talk about them. The only thing that uh, I'm going to make mention to you is between Linux Mint 22 sentiment and Linux Mint 21.3, when you click this box, it goes to different websites. So this is the current website. It is uh, 
sturfti.me. What is sturf time anyways? Well, there's two different definitions, uh, string format time or string from time, if you want to call it that. They're just elements. These little elements here, I'll just click this one. This one has a long set of numbers versus this one does not. So the first symbol that you see here is a percent Y that actually represents the year using four digits instead of two digits. I don't like the small Y because it, it only uses two. Okay, so these are strip time elements. Now, I'm gonna click this for a second. If you are have ever used Linux Mint 21.3, when you click that, this is where you end up at on Mike's website for goodstirftime.com. I love the name of that. And Mike has done a wonderful job over the years. You can build your own, drag your elements in here to make up this formula. Then you can right click, copy it right out of the web browser and paste it right in here. Okay, that's one way. You can also look at the reference symbols. All these funny looking percent things. Here's that percent Y that I was just referring to earlier. Year with, it, with century. I don't like the small Y. Also the percent Z, the time zone, you'll see that I'm actually using that in here as the last symbol. I'm gonna manually add a space and a percent Y in here and you'll immediately see that change. Now I have the year. Also the bubble is different over here than on your system. Let me give you an example of this. So I'm going to highlight the bubble tooltip and basically cut it. And then just put a percent Y to give it, make it really simple. Percent Y is the year. Okay. And as soon as I do that, all it says is 2024 on it. Let's go back to here. Same thing. None of those symbols have changed. But that's what I'm using for a tooltip. Maybe your tooltip is in blue, mine is in red. It depends on the theme you picked. Remember that Linux Mint has lots of options with themes. There's a lot of things you can do with Linux Mint Cinnamon. I'm gonna put that back to where I had it with that funky looking string of numbers. There's my new tooltip. And these things are immediate. So let's uh, walk through some of these settings so you kind of understand what these are <coughs> if you're not used to this. So again, these are time elements. So the percent A, you'll see that percent A is also here, which represents SAT as in Saturday. Now, if I do the uppercase A, which will give me the full name, why wouldn't I want to do that to begin with? Every time I fill in boxes, this panel bar gets shorter. So when you are dealing with panel settings, I don't care what system it is, sometimes when the panel height or length is very long, you sometimes get only limited amount of room on your panel or task bar as some people call it. So anytime you uh, make an abbreviation, you gain a little bit more space. So instead of sat, I put in Saturday, which takes up more space. When I change that uh, 19th uh, OCT into 19th of October, you will see that I'll lose more space. Let me now get rid of this part. So I'm going to move from the Saturday, which is uh, uppercase A, percent A, which is the full name, over to percent D. The percent D is the day of the month. Now, believe it or not, there are two elements for this. One would be if you had, let's say today's date was the 1st of October. You can either have it displayed 01 or just plain 1. If you just want the plain 1, you want to use percent %E, lowercase e as an echo. I'm using this one, which will display when I get to the lower end numbers, like 1 will be 01. Now for the October part, that would be percent %B. Percent lower B is the abbreviation for like January, as in my case, October. 
If I want the full name, I go with the uppercase B, which is currently highlighted, so I'll change that to a big B. Now it spells the whole month out for you. Instead of OCT, it's October. Again, it takes a little bit more room on your panel or taskbar. The next element is the time, which is the box over here. If you can't read that, there's a comma that I placed in here, which you can also eliminate and put in a maybe a dash, like I just did. The percent I is the hour of the day, 12 hour format with an 01 for like one o'clock. If you don't want the zero, then you use a percent L. That means that one would literally print a one instead of 01. Now the big H is 24 o'clock, so that one's easy to remember. So I'm gonna replace that I with a big H. And now you can see 1745. The M is still the same, minutes or minutes. Okay. Now, I didn't have to put a colon in there, though. It, you have to manually do this. It doesn't come with a colon. It normally looks like that. If you want to put in a space, you can. And that gives you a gap. Okay. So I'm going to go back and put a colon back in here. The colon is found, it's usually the second key to your left of your enter key. And then uh, I got one more space to eliminate, and I'm going to do a delete. Now, the meridian, what is, the, uh, what is that? It's a funny name. That's a percent P. The meridian represents the AM and PM indicator. And it has two formats for that. It, uh, the big P represents a small AM and PM. The small P represents just the opposite, big AM and PM. So you can probably see that's big PM, so that must mean that I have a percent P, and that's correct. I have it highlighted for you. Again, filming in 1080. Now I'm going to keep scrolling all the way. So I don't have, I, it doesn't matter how much I expand this box, this little tiny box is what you have to play with. Okay, but it, it still scrolls from left to right. All right, I stopped off at percent P, which is the AM and PM per, uh, meridian. The next one is the time zone, which is presented by uh, percent Z. That's right here. Also on Mike's website, it's also the same in here. None of this stuff changes. Okay, so just make you aware that you can use either one if you remember this website. And again, that could be found from the previous version, LM21.3. So uh, what I did was I added a space in between that PDT and the year. So if I were to eliminate the space, then it kind of gets all squished together. So the last symbol that I have is percent Y, and that's right here. That is the year of the century, also represented in here, uh, where is it, right here. Or at least he puts it in columns, that's kind of nice for you. So um, if you don't want to use the full Y, I don't like this, but I will do it anyway. So I'll put in a small Y. It just says 24 on it. It doesn't say 2024. It just says 24 on it. The bubble is saying that. Keep in mind, the bubble over here is different. So to give you an idea of the bubble itself, since we're at the last symbol, let me change this back to an uppercase Y. Okay, so we'll finish that out. And I'm going to remove that whole thing with a control X. In other words, I'm cutting it. And I'm going to put in a percent. Um, I'll just use the year. Why? So now the, if I hit enter, the bubble should only pop up the year when I point at it. So you can change your bubble to, um, format, your tooltip format, the bubble. And again, yours could be blue. Mine is red. So I'm going to uh, paste in that uh, stuff that I just chopped out of there and hit enter. Now I have the tooltip is now formatted with Saturday, October 19th, instead of 19 October. You can see they're reversed on the tooltip and the display. The time is also reversed. I have 549 versus on the actual display, it's 1749. 
So yes, you can do stuff like that. These are independent, just like this guy is. You may not want to use any of it. You don't have to. I'm just showing you how you can. And more importantly, this on Linux Mint 22 goes to this website, but from the previous Linux Mint 22, this is still available to you. You just have to go here manually and bookmark it. That way you can go to Mike's website for a good .com. You can build your own. Once it's formulated, you copy it and you paste it in this box. My suggestion to you also is you can do this uh, very methodically. If you've got something that works for you, control C, minimize all this, right click, create a new empty documents, STRF, and hit control V. You now have the elements saved. Then you can save this and save this somewhere else in your system and somewhere in your file system, okay? Close all that. And one more time on the website. Again, you don't have to remember this. If you got Linux Mint 22, all you gotta do is basically right click, configure, turn this on and click that. And then you can get to that website. Thank you for watching.